Hey, Chandler Bolt here, and in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the I intend to method and the leader leader model. So I intend to is a three word phrase that I learned from this awesome book called Turn the Ship Around. Now this is a really, really, really great leadership book about one of the commanders in the Navy who thought he was gonna get assigned to the best ship in the Navy, ended up getting assigned to the worst ship in the Navy and completely turned around the performance of that ship, even though he had never commanded a ship before. And it's all about this I intend to or this leader leader model. Now, this I intend to, that three word phrase is gonna completely change the way you lead. It's gonna completely change uh, your business. It really is a single phrase that has just changed my business and changed the way that we're able to develop leaders inside the organization. So what is this? Well, as you've probably experienced as a leader is most leaders have two big problems. Number one, they're the bottleneck for everything, right? So all these decisions have to be ran by you all the time. So you're not actually empowering your people to make decisions. And then number two, you're not developing leaders in your organization because you're shielding them from the ability to make all those decisions, right? So you just end up becoming the bottleneck and people dump their problems on your desk. If you're a leader or you're an entrepreneur, I know you've all experienced this where someone says, oh, I have this problem. What do you think I should do about it, right? They put their problem on your desk. And I know there's a, a great book. I think this is one of the one minute manager books, but they talk about giving me your monkey. Right, so in business, in our jobs, anything, our monkey represents this problem that we have. And oftentimes we go to our leader, or maybe you've had the people in your business go to you and say, hey, can you solve this? Or can you take care of this? So they're taking this monkey that they have and they're giving this monkey to you, right? So they're dropping their problems on your doorstep. Now this is where we introduce the leader leader model or the I intend to model. So the I intend to phrase, again, circling back to this book, simply says, I intend to blank. Now, the context of this is on the ship, he was kind of given all these orders and saying, oh, uh, let's dive 30 feet, submerge, go into this cove, fire on the enemy, all these things, right? He was having to lead. So it's a very top down leader approach. But he said, well, you know what? I don't know that much because this is my first time ever running a ship. <laughs> so maybe the best thing to do is just ask my people what we should do. And they're smart, they're skilled in their area of expertise. And by empowering them, through this phrase of I intend to, now all of a sudden they can make better decisions and they can be involved in the decision making process. So that one phrase totally changes everything. So practically how you can apply this in your business or in your role is you introduce this phrase uh, to your people and you say, hey, instead of saying, do you think I should blank or how would you solve this? They have to come to you with an I intend to. So my people all the time at self-publishing school, they say, here's the problem, here's what I've considered, I intend to blank, right? On the ship uh, example, instead of saying, hey, submerge 30 feet, they would say, hey, captain, I intend to submerge 30 feet, dive into the cove, fire on the enemy. It says, very well then. Or if they express an I intend to, and it's just maybe slightly off, obviously that's gonna happen sometimes, then you say, hey, have you thought about this? Have you thought about this? Have you thought about this? Right? And now all of a sudden you can ask them a couple questions, they solve their own problem, and now instead of next time them coming to you every time they need help on that, they are empowered to make the decisions and most importantly, they're empowered to grow as a leader by making those decisions. So when it comes to having your people use the I intend to method, it's not that they're lazy, it's not that they don't have great ideas, it's for the most part that they don't feel empowered and they're scared to make decisions. So not only will the I intend to model uh, introduce a framework for them to make decisions, but it also does three important things in your business. Number one, it builds confidence in your people and develops them as leaders. So not only are they more confident in their decision, but now all of a sudden they're becoming leaders. So think about this, it's the leader leader model, not the leader follower model. So instead of me telling you what to do, it's you coming up with your own solutions. Now number two, it helps you as a company move faster. Because if now all of a sudden me as an employee, if I don't have to run all my decisions by you, I can make those decisions, I can iterate, I can make mistakes, but we move faster as an organization because I don't need to get approval for every single decision that I have to make. So the third thing is it creates kind of a context and a code word 
for helping people solve their own problems. So it's become kind of this funny joke at self-publishing school. Anytime someone comes to me and says, hey, what should I do about X? Or, uh, you know, hey, uh, how should we solve this? I just say, you intend to what? <laughs> you intend to what? <laughs> uh, and it kind of has this funny thing where it's like, oh, okay, right, I intend to X, Y, Z, right? So now instead of me feeling like a jerk and just saying, this isn't my problem, this is your problem, I can just say, you intend to what? And that just is kind of a, it's a, a subtle, but not so subtle sometimes way, but a friendly way to say, hey, why don't you hit me with an I intend to, right? So not only drive adoption of the I intend to method, but to have a friendly reminder that it exists. So that's the I intend to method. I would really encourage you try this out for one week in your business, you're gonna be blown away at what happens. This is just such a fundamental principle and ever since I started implementing this, I'm involved in way less decisions. We're making better decisions because the people who should be making the decisions are now making those decisions and not just relying on me. So I would love for you to try this out in your business. Comment below, let me know what was your biggest takeaway from this video and also if you try it and it works or if you try it and it doesn't work, comment below, let me know as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.